claim her treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, the adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon, taunting. This looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here, in the playground? There's an A scratched in the bottom for Amelia. I miss you, Mum. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Deadly accurate, for the most part. I have thought about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. Oh, brave Sir Knight, victim of the King's curse, doomed to stand vigil, warning away others from the forbidden tomb. Amazing! Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. She discovers a strange set of hieroglyphs. Clues to the forbidden tomb, perhaps? Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Ugh. Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. A test of skill. Our hero will need a bullseye to weigh down that basket. The treasure is revealed. I think this is from when we walked the El Memsha. I don't remember much, except for how spicy the bazaar smelled. Mum looks so happy. So does Dad. It's not fair. 
Why did she have to die? The floor gives way. Lara tumbles into the darkness. understand these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realise it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief and bring you two closer. Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. I see. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. I think you misunderstand. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. continues climbing, looking for another way in. <coughs> Our hero spies another entrance. Shoo! Go on! confronts the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? Shit! Enters the Forbidden Tomb. 
By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely. The sun king, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, this is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The king and the white queen, there's something in the shields. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. the head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine, but after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake and he drank the wine unharmed. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. Unlock her love's release. It worked. Ugh. Ugh. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. A Yatiri, a South American healer. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. Animal skulls, an omen of death and symbols of great change. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. 
Hmm. A Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. Great bat swings and fur. Twenty fifth dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This is the kind of armor that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is from Colombia. A Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these eyes have seen El Dorado. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. reflects the light beam. Light, unlock her love's release. Amazing. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Very, very important. I can't. 
cannot abandon my responsibilities just on the verge. You are always on the verge. Your obsession is destroying this family. Obsession? I'm obsessed. You are missing your daughter's childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Thank <laughs> you.